You're listening to IWW Radio, coming to you from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. And in the house today, we have David Graff. David, welcome. And uh, if you can just fill our listeners in on a little bit of history and how you started in this business. And I know that you were a drummer uh, at the beginning. So take her from there, David. Thanks, Fred. Um, Yes, I did start as a drummer. Uh, I started playing drums when I was about 11 years old. I played in bands all through high school. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after I and continue, continued to play uh, after I finished university. Then I started playing professional, professionally, and uh, I spent several years doing that, playing in and touring in bands in uh, and around Vancouver. Then uh, I wanted to have more uh, control over my my career and and my musical fortunes, so. Uh, I started writing songs and gradually uh, got out of playing drums and and ended up for quite a few years uh, playing guitar and singing Mm -hmm. in bands as as a way to make a living. And then, uh, so that eventually led to uh, me getting a production deal in Los Angeles. I had a manager by that point. I got a production deal with uh, a guy named Greg Ladani who had uh, at that point had just won a a Grammy for uh, producing a a Toto album. He had also worked with uh, uh, Don Henley and Jackson Brown and uh, a whole whole bunch of people that I really looked up to. Um, So I spent most of one winter in Los Angeles in the studio with him and uh, and things started reasonably well but they kind of went downhill uh, mm-hmm. fairly quickly this was the 80s and and uh, and Greg actually was the the, the uh, engineer that one of the engineers that really brought the the huge drum sound into the mainstream. Right, and and that was kind of his production aesthetic was everything had to be big and there were I had Michael Jackson's keyboard player coming in and doing <laughs> tons of synth tracks and yeah. and things like that and eventually uh, my manager uh, pulled the plug because he was not doing a, a job that we felt was going to result in anything. That was that represented what I really did musically. Right. right. Uh, so, with I came back to Vancouver within a few years. I had just I had been uh, looking for a record deal uh, in in Canada. And that that was the era when no one essentially put out an independent album because because the cost of making a a professional quality record was uh, out of most people's range unless they had the backing of a record label. Right. Uh, So eventually I uh, got frustrated and burnt out on the whole effort Mm -hmm. and uh, started doing art as a a way to uh, earn my living uh, and continued to do that for, I started doing that about, uh, 20 years ago. And, uh, but then about six years ago, I just, uh, had continued to write songs and I, I had a, a, a backlog of songs and I felt like I needed to, uh, to let, people hear these songs and by then the technology had changed that it was a lot more feasible to make a record right. as an independent so with my wife's encouragement and uh, and my daughter's encouragement as well mm-hmm. uh, we started making the this record su- supposed to fly uh, about uh, 
I guess it was the beginning of 2016 when we started. Cool. Well, let's move on here, David. Uh, and this is the title track, uh, Supposed to Fly, by David Graff.
to make it through in a tough city. for days so I'm heading to the west boys where the mountains touch the sea and we'll wind it down in a better town where my spirit can run free in a tough city oh a tough city but I still walk on walk on You're listening to IWW Radio, coming to you from Niagara Falls, Ontario. And in the house today, we have David Grav. David, um, if you can explain a little bit about uh, Supposed to Fly and Tough City and how these were born. Uh, Supposed to Fly is a song that uh, is something that happens, I think. You probably know this as a songwriter. Uh, Sometimes a song just kind of arrives fully formed and supposed to fly is one of those songs mm-hmm. uh i came up with uh, uh i wrote it linearly so i wrote the ver the first verse and then uh which just kind of naturally led to the chorus so the whole first two verses and chorus were written uh probably in about half an hour cool um 